This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this story I think is really important and it's about a teenager that has lost his life in the Wolverhampton area. And I know that everybody's probably aware of Binley Mega Chippy that has gone viral online this week. And the fact that everybody's turning up there, BBC News, Vice News, Sky News, to try to get information about a chip shop that people have danced outside. But not one of these news sites has turned up to the murder of 15-year-old Zane Smart in Wolverhampton. And this is something that I always tell people, this is the reason why we do the channel. And I've started it from the beginning, going to these crime scenes and trying to explain what has happened in a way so I don't incriminate people because we're not solving cases. But at the same time, people should understand what has happened at the end of the day if a young child has lost their life. The channel has always done international news and some of them videos are the biggest on the channel and the support for local news has never been as big. And the stories are very difficult to publicise because YouTube doesn't want this content on their platform. So when I say that every single share really does matter and he's appreciated, I mean that as well because you guys are the only reason why any of these stories even go viral. 15-year-old Zane Smart was stabbed to death in the Wolverhampton area and despite the best efforts of emergency services, they couldn't do anything to save his life and they said he was stabbed in the chest and that is the cause of death. This occurred on the 27th of May and this was also near a canal bridge and the road was shut down and this leads into Reaper's Walk. A 16 year old boy was arrested on the same day and he's also now been charged with murder. They can't legally name him due to the age but he's appeared in Wolverhampton Magistrates Court and been remanded in custody and will appear at the city's Crown Court tomorrow. A 46 year old woman has also been arrested on suspicion of assisting an offender. Zane was found with serious stab wounds near the canal bridge on Reaper's Walk and tragically died on the same day. A massive police presence still remained at the scene two days later and forensics were gathering evidence. Police said that Zane was part of a group that was stood outside a fish bar in the Haymarket area at around 20 to 4 on the same day that he died. They need to identify, they said, people that was there as well. And family have said in a statement that they believe that a copy of a Snapchat video of the incident was circulated and they've asked for that to be handed in. The canal was also closed in that section of the area due to the fact that the police will be searching it later that day. His family have said in a statement that they are heartbroken and also devastated with grief at the loss of Zane. He was much loved by all of us. Words cannot describe the unbearable loss that we feel as Zane's family. He was a brother, also a son, a grandson, a nephew, and he was loved deeply. They went on to say in the statement that the world keeps turning for us, but it has stopped still as well. We are in a real nightmare that you've lost your life due to knife crime. We want you to be remembered as the funny, lovely boy that you was, and you had an infectious smile that lit up every room. Zane was the kindest soul and we love you deeply and we'll never stop loving you. As a family, they urged anybody that seen anything or had any of the videos on Snapchat to send them to the police. And they've also said that you'll help even though you may protect people you care about. And this story is truly devastating and it has literally broken a few days ago, but at the same time has got very little coverage in any mainstream media outlets. So I'm going to take this time to be able to pay my respects to Zane and also my condolences to his family. I'm going to follow this story and also the trial and we'll definitely keep you updated on any information that emerges throughout it. I really appreciate it if you send your stories to news at scarcitystudios.com and also follow on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook for the latest updates and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.